everybody and welcome to Hurricanes Camp 2015. I'm your host, Joe Zagacki, as we come to you from the Green Tree practice field here in Coral Gables on the campus of the University of Miami. Day two saw the Canes in helmets and shorts, also saw them compete at a high level. The opening game against Bethune-Cookman is just about a month away from Sun Life Stadium. Now let's take a look at today's action. Our focus is on the offense, a unit that averaged over 430 yards a game last year. Under the watchful eye of offensive coordinator James Coley, this year's offense will be fueled by sophomore quarterback Brad Kaya, who has a better command of the offense and has displayed excellent leadership skills. Oh, it's night and day. You know, he's he's not looking at the sideline to, to figure out what play it is. You know what I mean? He's, he's actually uh, re achieving, starting to achieve a little creative excellence. we got a ways to go. I mean, it was leaps and bounds last camp to the first game and the first game to the fifth game, the fifth game to the tenth game, right? Uh, I think it's been leaps and bounds to spring and from spring here. Yeah, um, I'd say just, you know, maturity-wise, um, you know, preparation-wise, I, I feel like I've in improved tremendously. I've been watching more film than I have ever. Um, you know, I'm on the same page as all my receivers and um, the O-line. Um, just, men just mentally, I feel like I'm on, I'm, I'm on like, a different – um, track than I was last year. The offensive line is a work in progress with position battles heating up across the board. The backfield returns powerful Gus Edwards, speedy Joe Yearby, elusive Trayon Gray, plus highly touted newcomer Mark Walton. We got a great room. Uh, you got Gus Edwards, who's a big power back, you know, uh, not limited to making a move. Joe Yearby, who is very, uh, very shifty, really good lateral. Um, Mark Walton's really stepping up. Trayon Gray is really stepping up. I'm really excited to see what he does. And uh, Colin Alford as well. The receiving core is expected to be explosive. Veterans Herb Waters, Stacy Coley, Rashawn Scott, and Malcolm Lewis are reliable targets. While sophomore Braxton Berrios is leaner and quicker. The tight end position is healthy with the returning Stanage Dobard and Chris Herndon and David Njoku competing. The Canes could have a very exciting offense this season. Training camp continues tomorrow, and we'll take a look at the University of Miami defense. As we mentioned, the home opener is about a month away against Bethune-Cookman, and you can get close to the action at newly renovated Sun Life Stadium. Get your tickets today at 1-800-GO-CANES. The home schedule also includes great games against Clemson, Georgia Tech, and Virginia Tech, and Virginia as well. You can follow Hurricanes football on Twitter at Canes Football. Thanks so much for joining us right here on HurricaneSports.com and Go Canes!